another quick message i know i speak a lot about fasting because fasting honestly has changed my life it's changed my life when i finished my esther fast which was a uh, uh three day fast i'll speak about it another time you can do a lot of research on esther fasts but when i was doing it since then I've had so much more dreams. The Lord has spoken to me so much more in my dreams. And I did the Esther fast, not because I was looking for anything specific, but because I knew um, back before I had problems with the spirit of Leviathan, which is a covenant breaking spirit, meaning that I would say, I'm gonna do this, say, I'm gonna do that, have a bag of chat, and I know. Oh, I don't want to. I was that person that say, "Yeah, I'm coming out. You're gonna, you know, somebody invites me out on the weekend. Yeah, I'm coming." And I'm in my head like, "I definitely ain't going away." Um, but yeah, <laughs> well, actually, no, I wouldn't even think that. I'll think I'm going. Then on the day, I'm just like, "I don't want to leave my house. I just don't," you know. And so I used to always break covenants. I would say I'm gonna do this, and I don't do it. And so I'm like, <clears throat> I was fed up. I said, "Lord." because well, I get dramatic I said father strike me dead if I eat before it was the Sabbath because it was that's the, the days you know if I eat before this day that I've agreed with you I strike me dead I know that's dramatic guys but I can't help it it's just how I am and I speak to him like that because I'm gonna keep this covenant with you I want to prove to you Lord that your word means something to me that your covenant, that I understand that you are a covenant keeping God. And if I say that my covenant's with you, Lord, if I say that your blood covenant that you made for me, Christ, is what has set me free, then let me prove it to you, Lord. That's what I want to do. I just want to prove to you that you're, you're a little biblical babe, Jelly. I love you, Father. I want my, my word to mean something to you and so you know i made it that's why i was so happy it wasn't so much for anything else but to just prove to him that lord i'm i, 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 I just want you to believe my word i think i wanted to believe my own words if i'm honest so yeah so it was just beautiful and since then my dreams have increased so much when i was younger um many of you might have found this as well that um i, I used to have this dream <clears throat> that used to scare me uh, i'm not going to get into it too much this not has doesn't have any revela uh, rele revelation you know it's not doesn't relate to this at all but I used to have this dream where this man would be following me <sighs> and it was so scary it used to petrify me so well, I'll tell you the dream okay because I just feel like saying it now but um I was walking down the street so I'm walking down the street walking down the street and then I look back and there's this man I just feel like this man's following me because so I cross over the road and he crosses over and so i'm like oh my gosh he definitely is following me so i walk quickly to the shops and then i go in the shop and i'm like somebody please help me there's this man and he's following me and the people in the shop the shopkeepers in the shop they look at me and it's the same man and then i run home i run home and i'm like mom I don't know who this is but there's this man and she's in the live in the kitchen washing up so I can only see her back and I'm like he's following me this man's following me she turns around and it's the same man's face and yeah so I kept having the first time I had that dream a couple days later my friend I was a teenager I was like maybe 15 14 15 maybe I was a little bit younger but I, know I was in secondary school when I had that dream and then my friend who I used to walk to school with she told me one day that oh this like a couple days after that that this man was following her and I was thinking that is so strange because I just had that dream but then I continued to have it and it used to petrify me like because I, I I'm real sensitive I don't always come across like that but I'm a bit of a crybaby so I'll be in my bed after having the dream and like wake up like so scared and he used to look like Mr Tumnus uh, this is what the Lord was speaking to me. This is what brought back this dream because I was speaking about it to him this week. Uh, Mr. Tumnus from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe where he was part goat, okay? Then the Lord was like show, uh, questioning me. Why did he look like that to you? Why did he have that face? What is that symbolizing to you? And because Azazel, he was the goat that... Um, was the scapegoat for the fallen angels when they came down on earth and um, they polluted the bloodline of humans they did so many they taught humans wickedness basically yeah the fallen angels that are now roaming this earth in hell 
in the marine waters and those that sit in the second heavens and so that's what you were showing me that that goat it looked like a goat because that's what it was representing those fallen angels these satans that would be following me throughout my life and not in a rude way but you know spirits get into people and i would end up seeing these spirits discerning that i see this same spirit in people and so it was so so scary at the time but um fasting it will help you to not only um dream more but this is what i wanted to explain to you about uh why we dream more when we fast not only are we breaking uh covenants and things like that with evil entities in our uh bloodline but if you look to um, Abraham and uh, Solomon, that's what caused them to have dreams. When they made a sacrifice unto the, the Lord, they made sacrifices at the altars that they built, which was like stones that they built. And then um, afterwards they would make a covenant with the Lord and then they'd get dreams. That's what happened to Solomon. He got a dream after he built this covenant. Sorry, he built the altar, which was the, the physical thing. And then um, he made the covenant with the Lord in his dreams. The altar caused the dreams. The dreams started to, to come after he built this altar unto the Lord, right? And so that should give you an understand of what a Sunday understanding of what an altar is. Now we don't need to do altars, build altars. We, our body, is a living altar. That's why the Bible tells us to that's our service, why we are here. We are here. I always say submit, but there's another word. Um, it doesn't actually say submit, but it's present your body, thank you, Holy Spirit, as a living sacrifice, as your Basically, that's your service. That's what you came here to do. And I just saw 633, which is seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and everything will be added to you. That you are supposed to just present your body. This is the altar. We are the altar of God. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And as we present our bodies through fasting, it allows the Lord to, to speak to us more spiritually, to our spirit man, which is what speaks on the inside of us. And so he was giving me this understanding and I thought was like, wow, because I was asking him, Father, why am I getting so much more dreams? Don't get me wrong. I love dreaming. I'm a very visual person. So it's like, it just feels amazing to have my dreams back and I'm not scared anymore. Because I didn't dream for, well, I couldn't remember my dreams for so many years um so yeah so if you're trying to you want to fast fasting is also gonna make dreams from evil altars thank you holy spirit that is still existing so our ancestors there's something that the lord spoke to me as well um because it's in deuteronomy where um it speaks about um that the children of Israel, they were in Egypt for 400 years. It was prophesied that they would be in bondage for that amount of time, for 400 years. Now, the transatlantic slave trade, and I hope you already know this, that you've done your studies and you know that the Japheth, the sons of Noah, it is the sons of Noah, right? Uh, yeah, the sons of Noah uh, were Shem, uh jpef sorry my nails are so ugly right now jpef and ham okay and these are the nations that repopulated the world now jpef they were up in the carcass mountains they are people who have fair skin caucasian kind of skin that's jpef okay then you have the shemites the shemites have brown skin as do the hamites they have brown skin but their cultures are different the shemites were God's people. They were Israelites. They believed in, they were Hebrews. Uh, the Hamites, they had other gods. And these were the, where the Bible always speaks about, because there's nothing new on earth, okay? It just keeps repeating itself. That's what the Bible keeps doing, repeating itself, or the earth is doing. It's repeating God's word. God's word will never return to him void. Do you know how amazing he is? Do you know how amazing the Bible is? That's why you ain't gonna find me, you know, because I'm here hiding under the shadow of the Almighty in my scriptures. You know, like that, because I'll get so carried away. It's so amazing. But yeah, um, so the Hamites, uh, these were like the Egyptians, and these are people who have brown skin. They're, they're brown skin, um, but they're not Shemites. And many, and this is what the Lord spoke to me. So. 400 years after the transatlantic slave trade so we know judah who was part of the shemites because we have israel the nation of israel was split into two and i'm not going to go into depth about this okay but it was split into two kingdoms we have judah and we have israel and that was after solomon and uh, 
after that anyway they were split into two judah got sold into slavery by their own people people think that it was the jpefs the caucasians the four fair skinned people that sold them into slavery no it was their own people okay i want to just state that and the hamites who look just like them because they're not the same peoples they're two different peoples but they look the same and they sold them into slavery that's why judah was dispersed to the four corners of this earth we are judah who have transatlantic slave trade in our lineage okay and so i hope Hopefully this is make, giving you the backstory, helping you understand exactly what I'm trying to say to you right now. And so the Lord was showing me that in 1619, that's when the transatlantic slave trade began. 400 years later, which was what was prophesied from uh, Deuteronomy, I'm sure it was Deuteronomy, was it? Where he said, where the Lord says that well, you'll be in bondage for 400 years. 400 years later was 2019. That's when um, something um you know that that thing you know that crown you know it's got a name like that it's, it's got a name as beer as well rona and that was introduced there was meetings about rona yeah in 2019 and this is it's all strategic okay because they wanted to uh release the spirit of fear on people because they are were now released from the bondage that they were in spiritually there was a mental emancipation that happened to many of us in 2020 the lord made new covenants with many of us he started to show many of us visions and dreams of things like kingdom marriages and marriage is a sign that uh, there has been repairing restoration on lands that the lord is restoring the land okay and so that's what exactly what is going on i know i've gone off here but holy spirit just speak and um, so that was 400 years this is um what the lord has just been speaking to me and so um I'm not sure how we get back here now lord but um yeah so that's what he was just showing me 400 years later that was 2020 that's why oh 2019 uh that's why many of us by 2020 got 2020 vision we were awake and we were emancipated to the point where holy spirit was so bold in us that many of us the lord told that told you come jump on this platform and come speak my truth leave that job come and work for me and we were so um emancipated from sin from sins that um wow okay because there's this dream that the lord gave me in 20 no it was 2021 okay and i was running running with so many different people um we were it was so strange it was like we were outside but we were like in it wasn't cages there were fences and it's like everyone had to kind of follow the fence around this thing and there were so many people running 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 if you're on my channel you might have seen me speak about this um message before um this dream before but again i didn't understand it at the time i'm so sorry praise the lord and what happened was um that there was people though that they started getting attacked i saw somebody that was like a friend to me um yeah he was getting attacked by a lion just like and i really wanted to go back for him and save him people were getting attacked by gorillas okay so this is what was happening in the, in the dream people were being everybody's running 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 like we're trying to escape from somewhere and then um i see this person that i know they got pulled by this lion and they were getting attacked like this and somebody um i don't know other people that i don't know i don't know their faces they were getting attacked by like gorillas then a group of us we made it to a shopping center and that's all i can remember remember i've told you guys the lord has shown me that when i dream about shopping centers it's about spiritual blessings spiritual gifts and we know that our spiritual gifts are all around us but we have to grow in the spirit to be able to access them we have to do like this with the enemy to make sure he can't take nothing from us and um so that's what he was showing me that many people uh because we were emancipated we were set free we were actually made free many of us started fasting i know in 2019 at the end of 2019 i was it 2019 or 20 no it was 2020 sorry in 2020 i left my my all of my jobs all of my incomes i had to lock them down car yeah that's how it goes um and i gave a lot of I started to do like a homeless ministry I gave to the poor I got rid of so many different things and I was fasting like crazy um, so many of you might have this kind of similar testimony where the Lord he, he turned your life upside down in 2020 and then he got you to do certain things he's he's been re 
realigning you with your actual destiny aside from the curses that we were under for those 400 years he was establishing a new covenant with you but in that same time many people went back to old um to ancestral whatever going back to back to their roots okay even shemites that they went back to roots that weren't ours the same things that got our people sold into slavery Okay, which was going after the gods of other people, other nations. And these would have been Hamite nations um, because they were all close. The e Egyptians, just like Solomon, and the, the Shemites, the Israel. Sorry, I should just say Israel were in close proximity. So some people have gone back to, you know, ancestral, my ancestors, I'm calling them my ancestors, I'm calling them this, not knowing this is the same reason. When I saw the gorillas and things and the animals that were devouring people in those dreams, those are those same people that went back to all of that kind of worship that the Lord took us out of. And um, yeah, and so I thought like, wow. And there was a few of us that actually made it to the shopping center that are actually in the place where our spiritual blessings are. You know, like that. <laughs> so if you made it here, congratulations. Big up the Lord because he is the greatest and thank the Holy Spirit that his truth led us here. Um, but yeah, I just thank you, Father, and I thank you for the revelations that I don't get, but there's nothing that happens before time in. And the Lord's been just revealing a lot more things to me about my purpose that I just I have to take time. So yeah, but I thought that was just amazing, like to really see that the Bible is real. The God we serve is real and every word that he speaks is truth. It all lines up. <laughs> like there's, he's just amazing, you know, he blows my mind. So yeah, but this is what I was speaking about, that curses. So check your dreams. If you're seeing animals devouring you, dogs coming after you, biting you, um, you know, these kinds of things, you can drop a comment. I can't interpret everybody's dreams, you know, that's what the Lord has told me sometimes. Some people, he don't want me to. Okay, maybe that will change in the future, but you can email me as well. I'm sorry, sometimes I do go MIA because I, like I told you, I get lost under the shadow of the Almighty. I'll be in my scriptures so deep that I can't, I actually can't get out. Like, I don't know how to. It's just like that because I just love reading the Bible. I love to study it. Um, so yeah, so if you see these things in your dreams, you need to fast. And when you're fasting, these things are going to try to attach themselves to you again. They're going to try to re-establish covenants with you. You must be studying. You have to study. Or else you're going to... If a demon leaves, it will bring back seven more deadly. Yes, I remember, Father, because I got another message about deliverance. Um, so you have to study. You can't be lazy on this, okay? This is a job. Your, your deliverance, your freedom is a job. And the Lord will take care of you as long as you are following his principles. I'm not saying the law because everything in the Bible is spiritual laws, is spiritual principles. You've got to follow all of it and understand this is how the Lord moves. And being his chosen people, we've got to move with him. This is spiritual law, okay? And so that's what he was just showing me, that he set his, pre his people were set free in 2019. That's why they released the spirit of fear, because that's what they were doing through that, that thing that they released on the people, that pestilence, okay? Um, yeah, because they want you to stay in bondage. It was fear that kept our people in bondage anyway, because they were fear fearful of, you know, so many things in that. But we were set free on <clears throat> in 2020 and the Lord established new covenants. And that's why we're going to see many marriages as well this year, because that's what is a sign that there's restoration on the land, that the Lord is repairing. He's restoring things. You see marriage, godly marriages. Um, so, yeah, um, totally went in a different way. And fasting. I just want to say this. When you are fasting, make sure you write down your dreams. If you don't write down your dreams now, like, what, what are you doing? What you're doing if you want the lord to to um speak to you more in your dreams appreciate that he's speaking to you that he's showing you he's giving you a glimpse into the spiritual world that's what's happening when you are asleep your your physical body that isn't even you is sleeping it's at rest but you the person who is you your spirit on in the inside is awake and the lord is showing you what is going on in the spiritual realm, okay? He's been showing me, he's been taking me places, well, I won't say taking me places, but showing me different things in my dreams that I'm just like, wow! Now I finally understand that dream that I had how many years ago, okay? So, um, we are an altar, our body is an altar, and you make sacrifices unto the Father by not eating, by locking off social media. But if he told you, stay away from those people, sit in my presence, 
sit here and listen to me. Sit here and instead of watching Netflix all the time, watch watch Jelly Bee's featured channels that she's told you to go and study from. You know, like that. You know, if that's the case, make those kinds of sacrifices. And this is the month to do it. This is a Passover month, so it's a very good month to fast. Um, also, this is when the witches, wizards and warlocks are doing a lot of things, okay? They're doing a lot of things, okay? So you'll see a lot of spiritual things going on this month. You'll feel a lot of warfare probably this month. And this is a month that you need to be on job when it comes to your dreams. Make sure you write them down, all right? But yeah, shalom. <laughs>